Hey, how you doing? I'll play you just a little bit of this song, I'll teach it to you right afterwards. And I'm a cat for you, 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 you. I'm a cat for you. Almost the whole song just kind of goes through those two chords. Um, let's talk about them. There's another small part that, that changes up near the end. Um, so it's a G minor. I'm borrowing everything on that third fret and then putting together like an E minor shape, fifth string, fourth string. And then D minor. First string, third string, and on the second string. First fret, second fret, third fret. Shape from the bottom four. Um, strum pattern, I'm kind of like. And then at, when I do that last down, I kind of play it, and then take the pressure off. Down, 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 Good. And then the, almost the entire soul song is D minor, uh, or G minor, sorry. D minor, D minor. G minor. Uh, when you hear that, I'm just, my fingers are on the, the strings, so they're not ringing. So you hear that kind of chuck kind of sound. Near the end. Um. Uh, it goes from a D minor to C, second string, fourth string, fifth string. Kind of a uh, B over C, so that I just take my C and then bring this one up by one on the fifth string. I'll leave that one there. Then for this B flat power chord that I'm doing here, I'm on the fifth string and then on the fourth string and third string. Alright, so for that part I'm playing the D minor, then I'm playing four, three, two to the C, five, four, three, C over B, five, four, three. Uh, B flat, five, four, three. Good, okay, D minor. happens um, near the end of the song and then once it starts that pattern it does that till the very end. That's how to play it. Hope it helped and thanks for watching. See ya.